Hey guys, and welcome to Petrol Ped, and welcome to this week's Midweek 180. I am at home this week, super busy though, and we've got loads to talk about in this week's Midweek 180. But if you've not seen one of these before, this is my Midweek Update, where I bring you my news, views, and information about upcoming reviews, all filmed in one take. I'm gonna put 180 seconds in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen, and that's it, a very simple format. So without further ado, let's get cracking with this week's Midweek 180. I shall start my timer. Okay, leader of the pack last week was Ben Higginson. Congratulations, sir. Joined in the Magnificent Seven by Francois G, Ben Roachford, Chris Murphy, Christopher, Andy Hopton, and Gina F56 Cooper S. So whoever puts the first comment this week, you'll be my leader of the pack next week. And the first seven comments, you'll be in my Magnificent Seven. Where are you and what you're doing? Well, that was easy. That was Leanne Jackson, who was in New Zealand. Maybe the furthest away peddler that we had last week but wherever you are right now and whatever you're doing put it in the comments below and i'll give you a shout out next week last week's question was uh, whether you get your car when it's under warranty service at a main dealer or a local specialist even though both don't affect your warranty or your service history an overwhelming victory for main dealers uh, 29 of you said main dealer compared with just four saying you take it to a local specialist i think that kind of answered that question this year uh, this week's question similar question but about tires where do you get your tires and do you go to the big big brands like quick fit or do you go to a local specialist or do you buy them on something like black circles and get them fitted uh, locally um f1 starts this weekend super excited about the new season i'm going to give you some predictions uh, my predictions for the season i think hamilton will win the title this year um i just think um and then i think he might well retire after that but i think verstappen is going to push him super close this year and i think verstappen will get second i think the mclaren boys are going to do really well i just have a good feeling about their car and i think aston martin racing will also do well i think they're either going to come third or fourth in the championship the big question is what a Ferrari going to do? Are they actually going to turn up to the game this year? Uh, be good to get Leclerc and Sainz in a decent car and have a really good battle. I think this year is going to be a good a good season. Um, new car news is this, while we're on the F1 theme, is the new Aston Martin Vantage F1 edition because the Vantage is the new pace car uh, or safety car in Formula 1 and they've now released this. You can buy one. It looks utterly stunning. Love the aero canards, the front canards. Um, sadly, I need to find £140,000 now because because the road to the one looks like <laughs> I need that in my life. Uh, a couple of bits of sad news now. Last week, obviously, we talked about the passing of Murray Walker, and I just missed uh, the Sabine Schmidt news. And it's so sad to hear of Sabine's early passing. And then we get another one. Uh, one of my motor racing heroes, Johnny Dumfries, the Earl of Dumfries, uh, or Johnny Butte. He had lots of different names. Uh, passed away this year, this week. He was only 62. But for me, I was a huge Jaguar fan in the 80s and followed them all the way up to their first victory in 1988, since the 50s, when uh, um, uh, Johnny Dumfries, Jan Lammers and Andy Wallace brought the Silk Cut Jaguar home, the XGR9, and I'll never forget that. And it's very sad to see him uh, passing at such an early age. And then this Friday's video at six is an electric Land Rover Defender. Now, even if I do say so myself, that was pretty good timing. Yes, uh, Friday's video, I cannot wait to share this one with you. Uh, I filmed it last week, I was in Wales with Moggy from Vintage Voltage from Electric Classic Cars. Um, and one of his customer cars that he's done that wasn't on the Vintage Voltage show, although he did do a Defender on Vintage Voltage, but um, he's converted a Spectre Defender. So if you watch the James Bond film Spectre, they had a, a big, big Defender on massive, great big tires. Um, uh, and he's converted one of those. It was done by SV. X, the special vehicle operations guys, although it is actually a copy because the actual Spectre Defenders are worth ridiculous money. Um, Harry Metcalf's got one, I think, or certainly did have for a while. Uh, but yeah, Moggy basically took the engine out and replaced it with a 450 horsepower Tesla drive unit. Uh, and we decided to take it off-roading and we decided to try and drive it up a mountain to reach the wind farm at the top of the mountain. That's all I need to say. It was a bit Top Gear-esque. And I think it's going to be a good video. I haven't actually started editing it yet, but you need to you need to tune in on Friday at six for that one because it's wicked. Anyway, I'm quite chuffed with that. Um, I hope you enjoyed that one. If you have done so, please give me a thumbs up. 
Comments below are always welcome. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to Petroped for plenty more content to come. Tune in this Friday at six for the Electric Defender. By the way, it does naught to 60 in about five and a half seconds as well. Just saying. And don't forget you need to tune in to Cycle Sunday on Sunday at six. Uh, we've got uh, wheels and tires this week. Um, but yes, very, very excited. More news about Cycle Sunday coming to the channel very, very soon. But I'm waffling. I shall let you to your business. I shall see you on the next film this Friday at six. But hope you enjoyed that one. Take care, guys. Drive safe.